is life worth living? Well, um, I suppose we could actually conduct a study on that basis, as a lot of uh, psychologists, psychologists and um, sociologists and philosophers conduct such, such studies. And I'm confident of the outcome of any such study. Uh, in other words, we would have uh, recourse to checking the only evidence that we have for a question which is essentially asking people to make a value judgment. Is life worth living? So the only way that we have to uh, uh, answer that question is to ask human beings what their opinions are. Owing to the fact that suicide is a rarity in our world and always has been, I would assume that... Um, life is at least worth living. It's worth the hassle. It's worth waiting to die of natural causes. Um, it's uh, actually worth going out and doing things. In fact, I would actually say that most people um, actually enjoy their lives. Um, and that's why we consider depression not to be a, a, a reasonable state to be in, but a pathological condition that needs to be cured like an illness. That's the way I see it, and I know what depression is. So I think that I know what the answer to that would be, but I'm willing to uh, go along with anyone who actually wants to poll the entire human race to get the numbers. Is life worth living? Most people that I know would say that it is. Again, we're back at the old, are happy people stupid uh, conundrum. Um, the thing is, we are the only ones who can judge whether or not life is worth living, those of us who are alive right now. You can come up with all the convoluted logic that you want to uh, prove that it isn't, but ultimately it's um, Joe Blow in the street, or uh, Jane Doe, or whoever, who decides whether or not life is worth living, not somebody sitting in a, uh, in a classroom in a philosophy department in a university. That's the ivory tower in all its arrogance, deciding for others whether or not their life is worth living. It's interesting what we could do uh, in terms of uh, David Benatar's potentials with the results of any such poll. It seems odd that I should actually have to say this in the context of this discussion, but I find that a lot of the antinatalist uh, philosophy... In particular, Mr. Benatar's philosophy is nothing more than pseudo-philosophy. We all know what science is. Um, Mr. Benatar's philosophy, I believe, um, actually belongs in the realm of pseudo-philosophy. But that's a value judgment of, of my own. <laughs> Thank you.